Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and last video we saw the time lapse of my 70k NVIDIA 2060 Super slash Ryzen 5 3600 gaming PC build and since you guys have been asking for a detailed build guide, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Now I've not done a build guide in a long long time so please bear with me. If you find something unclear, please leave a timestamp and let me know what it is that is unclear and I will make sure that I get that changed in future videos. I implement a change, I kind of tweak things around. And if you do find this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get the build guide started. So guys, for this build, I'm using the C300, but if you wanna, uh, but since this is technically a 70K build, you could kinda alternate to the C200 if you wanna really keep it exactly under 70K. The C300 would push it a little over the 70K mark. So guys, this is the B450 AOS Elite board from Gigabyte. So this is the board that we're using today. This is the processor, the Ryzen 5, the 3600, let's get that out. So over here you just look at this small little triangle and uh, position it the same way here on the board. And kinda move this, it's pretty simple. Just pop it in. So that's the CPU installation. So this is the Wraith cooler that comes with it. So one of the common comments we get on our videos is, hey, you forgot the thermal paste. But guys, the default ones, they do come with pre-applied thermal paste, as you can see. So to install the fan here, so we first, So now that we've removed these, uh, we can install the Wraith cooler. So like I said, we do have pre-applied thermal paste, so we don't need to reapply that. So you just need to align uh, the screws with these and place it on top. It's pretty simple, the installation. Just align it. pretty much and now start screwing it uh, so keep tightening it gradually so that's the CPU installation done so the CPU fan connector is here so you can just have it connected for the time so we're using two sticks of RAM we're gonna be to enable dual channel, we're gonna be popping it in here, the third and uh, first slots. So just open up both sides, just pop it in and that's it. Similarly again, just make sure that uh, it's you position it properly, the pins and it's Pretty simple. So guys, in the case, you'd find a box like this. This basically has the extra screws and whatnot. Uh, the motherboard. Placing it in. So what I like about this is everything is kind of well labeled. So these are the motherboard screws, the hard disk, three and a half inch hard disk screws, the PSU screws. They kind of labeled the two and a half inch hard disk and CD-ROM screws. So we take the motherboard screws here. We need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Uh, so let's take two, three, four, five, six screws. Don't over tighten it to start with, just get it into position.
So once you've got all these screws into position, then you can go on and tighten the screws up. So once you've got the last screw in, you can go on. Now once you're done with this, uh, we're gonna be taking these two out. So here we can, we're gonna be taking these two out. This case actually allows for vertical mounting of the graphics card, though we don't have I mean, we're not going to be doing that for this build. Let me know if you'd want me to do that for a future build. This is the 2060 Super. This is the card we're going with for this build. You just need to place the graphics card and just click it into place. It just kind of... That's pretty much it. Nothing special about it. Uh, and of the two screws that we removed, we're just going to screw them in. So guys, here we have three SSD mounting slots. So I'm gonna use this one here. This is a 240 gig gigabyte SSD that we're gonna be using here. We've got the SSD mounting screws that came with the motherboard. So we can take four of these. So let me just quickly screw them in. So once you've tightened these screws, uh, you see the arrow mark here. So we're based on these arrow marks, just slide it in. So then just put this thumb screw in place and the SSD is mounted. Yes, the logo is inverted. Not much we can do about that. So any which ways, that's the SSD mounting. So now let's get to the PSU. So guys, this is the PSU. I'm going with the modular PSU here. You don't have to. If you want a better value for money PSU, you could still get uh, 80 plus gold PSU that's not modular so uh, it would be cheaper so any which ways we need a 24 pin for the motherboard so let's plug that in it's pretty simple here the requirements we don't have a lot of peripherals so this is for um, let's say PCIe one and let's get a SATA basically you just take this end and plug it into one of the peripheral lens. So this is basically what you do. So once we are done with it, let's just uh, put this inside. Over here. And uh, the only cable that's gonna come through this, it's gotta be the PCIe. There is the GPU cable, plug this in. That's the power for the GPU. So now the PSU itself, we just put it on the standoffs here, on the inside, and we just need to screw it in. So we've got the PSU screws from the motherboard uh, screws that we got. So let's just take them, and we just need to screw them in. So now that we've screwed this in, uh, next let's connect the uh, motherboard power. So the 24 pin, so that's the big one. So let's start with connecting that. So that's the big one. So we're gonna route it through the top here. Okay, before even with the CPU, I mean, sorry, the GPU and uh, even with this, wherever you plug in power, you see one of the sides will have a ridge. That's where this kind of plugs in. So basically here we have a ridge to the left. So this plugs in this way. Just press it and you should hear that's Pretty much it. Next we'll have to connect the CPU power. So for that we'll have an 8 pin. So that 8 pin is connected to this. So we can route that through the top and we've got that right up here. So, so once you plug it in right you kind of feel it click into place. That's basically it. Let's get to the front IO now. So this is basically everything that comes from the front header. 
So everything that we have to the front of the PC or rather the case. So we're gonna have to plug all of these in. I see a USB 3 here. There's a USB 3 right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna push this out for better cable management. I'm gonna move the USB 3 out, push it right out of here. And we'll get to that in a bit. And the same thing, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with HD audio as well. Because HD audio is over here, and I don't wanna route it this way either. So out goes HD audio. So I'm gonna get USB 3 and HD audio, and I'm gonna bring them back in through this grommet at the bottom. And I'm just gonna plug USB 3 right in here into the U. Okay, again, we've got a little bit of an elevation over here at one of these points, one side, and you have a groove where you need to plug it in. So just align them and plug in USB 3. Done. This gives us USB 3 on the front panel and as for HD audio, again, similarly routing it through this and connecting it again. Uh, if you look at this closely, you'd see uh, basically there are 10 pins on HD audio. Uh, as in, there's actually nine pins. There's, a, there's one pin missing to the bottom and similarly, there's one hole missing here. So you just align that and plug in HD audio. So there's a system fan header here. So we could plug this in there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of loosen this. And take this fan header. Let me just pass this through as of now. Um, I might not connect it to the board and just power it so that the fan runs and it's not controlled by the board for more function I guess but let's see for the time being let's just push it through the back plug it in here I'm gonna use this fan header it was it is kind of perfect from a length perspective we don't have any issues it kind of slots in perfectly let's see Let's see what we can do with this. Leave it as is. So this is front panel USB 2. So again, for this, we're gonna do the same as we did for USB 3. We're gonna route it through the bottom. So this, this is USB 2. Again, just look at the oh, uh, pins. We've got one pin missing to the left and similarly, uh, just align it the same way. Plug it in and we've, we now have USB 2 working for the front panel. So these are for the front switches, the buttons to the front. So this is what we're gonna be uh, routing here. And again, you don't need them coming in this way. We can, we'd rather have them come through this. So we are again gonna be routing these through that rubber grommet to the bottom. So I'm gonna be routing them this way once again. So guys, the easiest way to do this is with the uh, motherboard manual. You could also find this online. So this would basically have the front panel header configuration. So with this, you should be able to plug stuff in. So the little triangle here on these, they are positive and negative. So once we're done with this, that's the I.O. done. So we've pretty much got most of the things done here at this point. Uh, let's get, next up, get a SATA cable. We're gonna take a right angle SATA cable. Plug this, so just align, look at the alignments. Plug it right in to SATA zero. The one to the top, that's gonna be our first SATA. And just route it. Do this, route it behind, 
go to the straight and I'll plug this straight into our SSD here. So these are all done. We still have the front uh, fan to take care of. That's pretty weird as well. So anyway, Trace, I'm quickly getting to the power options. Um, let's just use this to power this and then have it power this. So now I'm plugging in the power for the SSD. We've done that. So now uh, that we've done this, I will get back in, you know, do a little bit more of cable management in a bit. But for now, uh, let's just wrap this up. So I guess that's pretty much it. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.